All righty, class, let's look at some radiology and x-rays. We'll talk a little bit about nuclear medicine in chapter 20. List the physical properties of x-rays. Identify diagnostic techniques used by radiologists and nuclear physicians. Name x-ray views and patient positions. Describe the role of radioactivity in the diagnosis of disease. Recognize medical terms used in the specialties of radiology and nuclear medicine. Apply your knowledge to understanding medical terms in their proper context, such as medical sports and reports and records. So radiology definition, I definitely know this. Medical specialty concerned with the study of x-rays and other technologies such as ultrasound and magnetic resonance to produce and interpret images of the human body for diagnosis of disease. X-rays are invisible waves of energy. So if you look at the definition of X-rays, it says invisible waves of energy. So you really can't say, oh, did you bring your X-rays? You know, it, technically that's not right because those are invisible. So if you say, hey, did you bring your films or radiographs? That sounds a little bit more intelligent, right? But people use it all the time. You know, it, no one's going to uh, correct you. But Truly, you can't say, hey, did you bring your x-rays? Because those are invisible waves of energy. Uh, I know it's a little nitpicky, but hey, uh, you want to be um, proper, then that's that's what you do. Nuclear medicine, use of radioactive substances in the diagnosis of disease. Okay, <clears throat> so a radiologist, a nuclear physician, radiologic technologist, radiographers, nuclear medicine technologists, sonographers. Um, what is the characteristic of an x-ray? Uh, exposed photographic plates, penetrate substances, invisible, travel in straight lines, they scatter, and then they ionize. So x-ray studies, digital radiography, computer tomography, and contrast studies. You can do a barium sulfate, upper GI, lower GI. Iodine compounds, angiography, arthrography, cholangiography, digital subtraction, angiography, Hysterosolingography, myelography, pilography. Make sure you know what a myelography is. Fluoroscopy, digital imaging, interventional radiology, ultrasound, MRI. Definitely know this uh, position, x-ray positioning. Uh, uh, PA view, uh, posterior source to anterior detector. Okay, so you're going here. That's a PA view. So, well, uh, PA view is the most commonly requested x-ray. Okay, so that's why you should definitely know this. AP view is going from front to back here, anterior source to posterior detector. And then lateral view and source of a patient to the detector at left of the patient here. Okay, so the most common is a PA view. Oblique view, source slanting direction and angle from perpendicular plate. Uh, make sure you can describe this um, abduction, movement away from midline, a deduction, movement from, toward the midline, eversion, turning outward, extension, lengthening or straightening of flexed limb, flexion, bending a part of the body, decubitus, lying down on the side, or, or you can have a decubitus ulcer. Uh, from staying in one position too long. Uh, prone, definitely know this, lying on the belly face down. Supine, lying on the back face up. And recumbent is lying down prone or supine. So make sure you know the difference between prone and supine for sure. Obstructing the passage of x-rays. That would be radiopaque or radiopaque. All right, nuclear medicine, nuclear... Radionuclides or radioisotopes are alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. A nuclear medicine tests in vitro. Make sure you know the difference between in vitro test tube and in vivo in the body. Uh, so half-life of a particle is the time required to lose half of its radioactivity or disintegrate. In vitro procedures, uh, analysis of blood and urine, radioimmunoassay, RII, uses radioactive chemicals and antibodies to detect hormones and drugs in the patient's blood. For example, digitalis detection, hypothyroidism in newborns. Ra radioactive substance given directly to patient to evaluate organ function or image, radiopharmaceutical, labeled compound, concentrates in organ. 
Skinty scanner is a gamma camera detection instrument produces a picture. Okay. Now, of all these, you should definitely know uh, a few of these. So bone scan, uh, lymphocentigraphy, but you should know what a PET, a PET scan is, positron emission tomography, a PET CT scan, single photon emission computed tomography, SPECT, Technia TC, thallium, and thyroid scan. So make sure you know the difference between a PET scan and a CT scan. So uh, focus on a PET scan, uh, radioisotopes, emissions of positrons instead of contrast x-rays. You have to do an intravenous injection. Concentrates radioisotopes in tissues where the radionucleotide is or is not being metabolized. Useful in treating stroke, epilepsy, Alzheimer's disease, brain tumors, abdominal and pulmonary malignancies. Intravenous injection of radioactive tracer. Computer reconstruction of 3D image based on many views. Detects liver tumors, cardiac ischemia, diseases of bone and spine. Okay. So SPECT is an acronym for Single Photon Emission Computed Tomography. Now, you should definitely know these. So you know what a CT scan is, or a computed tomography. That's a diagnostic x-ray procedure that produces a cross-sectional image of a specific body segment. Contrast studies, radio opaque uh, materials are injected to obtain contrast with surrounding tissue when shown on an x-ray film. Gamma camera, machine to detect gamma rays. Gamma rays, high energy rays emitted to radioactive substances in tracer studies. Um, Half-life is the time required for a radioactive substance to lose half its radioactivity by disintegration. A lot of things have half-lives. Drugs have half-lives. So let me give you an example of caffeine. Caffeine has a half-life of four hours. So it takes four hours for half the caffeine to leave your body. So let me give you an example. Let's say you drink a Red Bull. Red Bull has 80 milligrams of caffeine. So since the half-life is four hours, it would take your body four hours to cut that caffeine from 80 milligrams to 40 milligrams. So every uh, radioactive isotope has different half-lives uh, and you can base on how long it takes your body to get rid of it. Interventional radio uh, radiology is therapeutic or diagnostic procedures performed by a radiologist. Uh, again, make sure you know the difference between in vitro and in vivo. In vitro, process test procedure performed, measured, or observed outside a living organism. In vivo, process test or procedures performed, measured, or observed within a living t organism. So make sure in vitro fertilization, in vivo fertilization, so you know the difference. Ionization, transformation of electrically neutral substances into electrically charged particles. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, use of magnetic field and radio waves to produce sagittal, coronal, and axial images of the body. So again, make sure you know the difference between a CT scan, an MRI, and a PET scan, and when you would use what. Uh, nuclear medicine, uh, medical specialty that studies use of radioactive substances in the diagnosis of disease. Uh, PET, positron emission tomography, use of positron um, emitting radioactive substance given intravenously to create a cross-sectional image of cellular metabolism. Uh, radio immunoassay, test that combines radioactive chemicals and antibodies to detect minute quantities of substance in a patient's blood. And a radioisotope is a radioactive form of an element radionuclide. So if you had to look at x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, and PET scans and look at how uh, how much radiation exposure there are, well, <laughs> if you had an MRI done actually, MRIs have no radiation exposure. Uh, then it would be x-rays, then it would be CT scans, then it would be PET scans. So you don't want to order too many PET scans or too many CT scans because they have high radiation exposure. Uh, X-rays have minimal and MRIs have zero. So you can get an MRI every day if you wanted to without the risk of um, radiation. Vocabulary, radio-labeled compound, radiopharmaceutical used in nuclear medicine. Radiology is the medical specialty concerned with the study of X-rays and their use in diagnosis of disease. Radiolucent, permitting the passage of X-rays. Radionuclear, radioactive form of an element radioisotope. Radio opaque, obstructing the passage of x-rays. Radio pharmaceutical, radioactive drug used for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. What's a scan image of an area, organ, or tissue? 
of the body obtained from ultrasound, radioactive tracers, CT or MRI. Skin tipography, diagnostic luminescent tests using radio pharmaceuticals and gamma cameras to create images. A single photon emission, computed tomography, SPECT, radioactive tracer injected intravenously and a computer reconstructs a 3D image based on the composite of many views. Oh, what's tagging? Tagging is attaching a nu radionucleotide to a chemical and follow its path in the body. Tracer studies are use of radionuclide tags attached to chemicals and followed as they travel throughout the body. So th these are useful for maybe detection of cancer. Ultrasonography, ultrasound, a diagnostic technique that projects and retrieves high frequency sound waves as they echo off body parts. So minimal radiation on ultrasound as well. Uh, ultrasound transducer, handheld device that sends and receives ultrasound signals, uh, uptake, rate of absorption and radionuclide into an organ or tissue, ventilation perfusion studies, ventilation perfusion of a radio pharmaceutical followed by imaging its passage through the respiratory tract. All right, quick quiz. Which of the following is a handheld device that sends and receives ultrasound signals? D, transducer. All right, let's do some combining forms, suffixes, and prefixes. Uh, fluoro, so that means luminous, so a fluoroscopy, a process of using x-rays to produce a fluorescent image. Iso is same, so a radioisotope, radioactive form of an element, uh, have similar structure but with different weights. Uh, pharmaceutical is a drug, radiopharmaceutical, pertaining to the combination of radioisotopes and a drug. Uh, radi x-rays, radio resistant, a tumor that is not easily treated, resistant to radiation. Uh, rho and tend gen, which are also x-rays. Uh, so rho and tend genology <laughs> is the study of x-rays. Rho and tend genology. Son, sound, sonography or sonogram. Sonogram is record of sound therapeutic so treatment vitro glass vivo life so in vitro experiments performed in a test tube in vivo experiments performed within a living organisms gram um, record so make sure you know what a myelogram is myelogram is a record or x-ray of the spinal cord okay angiogram would be record x-ray of blood vessels graphy so let's say you had a zero radiography process of recording x-ray images by dry photoelectric process using metals coated with selenium powder um, lucent to shine radiolucent permitting the passage of x-rays shine through radio opaque would be obscure or obstructing the passage of x-rays. Sign is movement. Sign or sine, sign, radiography, process of using motion picture techniques to record a series of x-ray images, active forms, echo or repeated sound, echocardiogram or echocardiography, process of recording sound waves or echoes as they bounce off the heart, ultra, beyond, so ultrasonography, process of using ultrasound waves in the body to produce sound echoes, and they produce an image. So angio, angiography, AP, anterior, posterior, BA, barium, BE, barium enema, C, spine, cervical spine, CT, make sure you know that, commuter tomography, decub, decubitus, DICOM, make sure you know what a DICOM is, is a digital image communication in medicine, a DI, Diagnostic Imaging, DSA, Digital Subtraction Angiography, Echo, make sure you know what an echo is, uh, Echocardiography, EUS, Endoscopic Ultrasonography, uh, FDG is a fluorodexoxyglucose. Now, where do you, so FDG you would use uh, during a PET scan, okay, so make sure you know what that is. So FDG is a fluorodexyoxyglucose that would use as a radio pharmaceutical that they use in a PET scan. Uh, GD, gadolinium, uh, isotope of radioactive iodine, isotope of radioactive iodine, 
IVP, intravenous phylogram, cub, kidneys, ureters, bladder, lat, lateral, LS films, lumbar sacral spans, lumbar spine, MDCT, multi-detector CT scan, MRI, make sure you know that, uh, magnetic resonance, magnetic resonance imaging, MRA, magnetic resonance angiography, MRV, magnetic resonance venography, so angio, right, blood vessels, veno, veins, MUGA, multiple gated acquisitions, PA, make sure you know what PA is, posterior, anterior, PACS, Picture Archival and Communications Center, PET, make sure you know that, Positron em Emission Tomography, PET, CT, Positron Emission Tomography, and the Computed Tomography, uh, sometimes you can use that in finding tumors, RAIU, Radioactive Iodine Uptake Test, RFA, Radiofrequency Ablation, SBFT, Small Bowel Follow-Through, SPECT, Single Photon Emission Computer TC, Radioactive Technium, TI, thallium-201. Now you should know that in thoracic, so TI, thallium-201. And that's just a radionuclide. T-spine, thoracic spine, UGI, upper GI series, US ultrasound, ultrasound or ultrasonography, VQ scan, ventilation perfusion scan that you would do in the lungs. Which term refers to movement away from the midline? That would be abduction, B as in boy, and which term refers to a patient lying on the back? That would be supine. So make sure you know the difference between supine and prone. All right, that's it. Short chapter. Good luck.